everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, the August box for, from um, our Atelier that's based in China. Now, it took about a month for me to get the box. Um, it's a lot better than what it took in terms of uh, earlier this summer when I had ordered, I believe it might have been the May box or the June box. It took almost a month and a half to get to me because, well, because of the pandemic, um, normally this would probably take about two to two and a half weeks to get to me. So I'm only getting around to filming this now, unfortunately, because um, I work kind of midday during the week and the sun has been, by the time I get home, basically it's already dark and I'm too tired to even film then. So I can really only do my filming during the week. So anyways, let's go get to un, you know, unboxing. I've already opened it. Um, so that's the reason why the string is um, already cut. And to the side, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. If you hear a fan, that's because I've got my little fan going on here next to me. Um, there's some tape over here because one of the cool things that, sh um, that Rosie does is that she will put your name on this little um, plate right here. Uh, and I love the fact that she personalizes the sheet that comes on top of the box. And what you see here, these images are all the stamps that you get in the set. Now, I chose Notre Dame because years ago I visited um, Notre Dame and I've always loved the cathedral so I wanted to get this set because of the stamps. Okay, So the box unfortunately came really smushed up but that's okay because nothing was um, damaged in the box. So let's take that out. So what we have here is um, one of the stamps. This is, a, well, one of the block stamps, okay? And I love how she packages everything up so nicely. And of course, you know, I'm like particular about unpackaging everything. So let's see. This is the stamp that's right here, okay? And it's a really pretty stamp. Okay, let's put that to the side there. Looks like she sent, <laughs> this looks like a, um, a memento or uh, I forgot the name of that brand, um, Dewdrop. So this one is called Green White Oak. And I'm wondering if it's this color, you know? So this is, oh, this is probably a pigment stamp. Um, yeah, and then this right here is probably the washi for this um, month. Oh, there's two in there, okay. So I've got this skinny washi that just says page. So this would good, go good at the bottom of um, obviously a page and then you can number it. And then this one right here kind of looks like um, torn, you know, torn pages really pretty. I'm guessing that this is probably maybe five centimeters, maybe even less than that. Okay, so um, here's the next one. And what do we have in this envelope? I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, so we've got some ephemera here. This one is with a gargoyle with the map of Paris. Okay, another one, the gargoyles um, that are probably featured on uh, Notre Dame. And then this one right here, this is so pretty. When I went to Notre Dame, I didn't get the chance to go up, like up here, I think. Was it up here or, yeah, it was up here. Um, we were kind of limited on time. I t actually, I spent more time taking pictures here in these sections and I couldn't figure out actually how to get up there. I know I could see people that were up there um, taking in the view, but I just couldn't figure out how they got up there. And I was just like, well, we, we had to go to our next destination, which I believe was the Louvre after that. This was back in uh, 2005. 
when it was really cheap to still fly to Paris. I think we had gotten a package of like, um, it was five days or six days, six days with flight and hotel for like, believe it or not, $599. Um, even though our hotel was like, I think in the 17th or a decimate, I think that's how you say it. It's been so long. Um, it was actually a pretty good hotel. It was an Ibis and it was on a hill. And the great thing about that neighborhood that we were in was it was um, a non-touristy neighborhood. So, you know, the little convenience store, grocery stores that were nearby, they didn't have all the prices jacked up for like basic things like water and, you know, other stuff. So, um, and on top of that, the um, hotel was just like a block from the subway. Okay, so here's more ephemera. Here's some tags which are really, really nice to always have. And I love that they're all in French. So here is the um, tag for, not tag, but I'm sorry, the book plate you could say for September. Okay, oops, we'll go with this one here. Looks like these are some tickets. Coupon, more tickets. Um, these are printed on vellum. This right here is like just a little tiny pad of um, labels, pharmacy labels, vintage ones that is. Here's a, another old ticket. I'm not sure what to call that, but it's very pretty with these old medieval looking um, pictures. Here's a postcard, a botanical postcard from Mocard. I've got several of their products. And Rosie had told me that she's been doing some, um, making her own paper, natural paper, natural fiber paper. And it, it's come out so beautifully. Here is um, more vellum. Well, it's not actually vellum. This is like wax paper. And here's more of the natural fiber paper. There we go. Some more vintage images. All right, set that aside. Now, every box that um, comes out every month is about $28, and that includes shipping. So it's not a bad deal considering how much stuff you're getting. Um, the only thing is, of course, you have to wait for it. I mean, it wouldn't be a problem if the pandemic wasn't going on right now. So oh, I'll get those out later. Um, but still, it's, I think it's worth the wait. Here's some more ephemera. Let's see, I'll put it right here for now. There we go. Um, very, very thin paper that it's printed on. This would look probably good go well as far as like, you know, to actually collage it onto something. This is actually printed on vellum. Some more ephemera. I mean, this is a lot of pieces here. This is more, I think, than from when I had gotten the previous box. Oh, I love these. Very art deco. They look like the covers of books. Yep, they are. Sorry if it's kind of off to the side. I'm just looking on my phone here to make sure that I'm in focus. So we've got some like fake stamps, botanical images. The next box that I've ordered, I think is it's the September box and I think the majority of it is all botanical. I know the stamps are, so I'm pretty excited to get it. Some more like looks like old letters or yeah, like that one's a license. Here's some more stamps. Interesting puzzle pieces on vellum. And then these are the um, spines of a book, the images. Let's see, they're upside down. William Blake, 
English costumes in the Earthly Paradise by William Norris. Morris, excuse me. I don't think I've ever read that one. Life and Works of William Blake. I have read some some books from him. Okay. Looks like it's almost like a um, a tab. Here's an image of a clock. I think that's a sticker because the back is kind of shiny. The Blue Bird. I've never heard of that one. Um, the Ballad of Bo. Uh, even the brocade. Got a glare here. That's why. These are stickers. Yep, more stickers. Oops. Let's see how they're. I believe I am born as bright as the bright summer flowers do not wither undefeated fiery demon rule heart rate and breathing to bear the load of the cumbersome board. What? Sounds like some English. <laughs> Yeah, these are all stickers. And then here's some more images. I think this, yeah, this is a sticker. Okay. And then it's another one. All right, let's get the rest out so I can. Perfumery, that's not a sticker. I guess all of these are. There's pretty much more of the same stamped um, images and then another puzzle piece. So let's put these small ones back. Just don't want them to scatter everywhere. Oops, see, they're starting to scatter. Okay. So let's move on to the next here. We oh, let's see. There's a piece. All right, so here are the, here's the stamp set for this month, just like on um, on this right here. This is what they look like again, with the exception of this one. Very, very pretty. And then the last one. This one is, there we go, very, very um, worn. Let me see. This is, I mean, it looks like there's more than one. I think it's, it's so weird because it looks like there are two pieces. Yeah, they're just really stuck together. I can't seem to pull them apart. <laughs> they're so stuck together and my hands are super dry. So anyways, it looks like it's just an old letter same thing with this with torn um, edges okay so that is all that was in the August um, our atelier box subscri subscription box for the month yeah for the month of August so um, I'm really like I said I'm really excited to get the September one because of the botanicals I really really love the vintage botanical images um, that she was able to get for her um, box, the set. So once I get that box in, I will definitely do an unboxing, okay? So I hope you all are having a great weekend and have a good week, okay? Bye.